Good morning. Happy Friday, Pack Readers. This morning um, over breakfast, I downloaded this book, A Very Large Expanse of Sea, um, from this year's Lincoln Award list on Sora, our digital reading app. And I really enjoyed the first chapter of this book. Uh, it starts out with the experience of a young student who is new to a school building. If you've ever moved and been the new kid before, then you could immediately relate to this. I just want to read you a little bit um, about what her experience was like in her fourth class for the day. When I finally found my next class, I was seven minutes late. I pushed open the door, the hinges slightly squeaking. The teacher stopped talking, his mouth still caught around a sound, his face frozen between expressions. He blinked at me. I averted my eyes, even as I felt the room contract around me. I slid into the nearest empty seat and said nothing. I took a notebook out of my bag. So, he smiled, you understand this is an honors English class? I hesitated. I wasn't sure what he was expecting me to say to such an obvious statement. Finally, I said, yes. He nodded, then laughed and said, sweetheart, I think you might be in the wrong class. When I read that, I was like, what? <laughs> I wanted to tell him not to call me sweetheart. I wanted to tell him not to talk to me ever as a general rule. Instead, I said, I'm in the right class and held up my crumpled schedule. Mr. Weber shook his head even as he kept smiling. Don't worry, this isn't your fault. It happens sometimes with new students, but the ESL office is actually just down the, I'm in the right class, okay? I said the words more forcefully than I'd intended. I'm in the right class. This was always happening to me. It didn't matter how unaccented my English was. It didn't matter that I told people over and over again that I was born here in America, that English was my first language, that my cousins in Iran made fun of me for speaking mediocre Farsi with an American accent. It didn't matter. Everyone assumed I was fresh off the boat from a foreign land. Mr. Weber's smile faltered. Oh, he said, okay. The kids around me started laughing and I felt my face getting hot. I looked down and opened my blank notebook to a random page, hoping the action would inspire an end to the conversation. Instead, Mr. Weber held up his hands and said, listen, me personally, I want you to stay, okay? But this is a really advanced class. And even though I'm sure your English is really good, it's still my English, I said, isn't really good. My English is blank, perfect. I spent the rest of the hour in the principal's office. All right, I took out the curse words there, but she says them and they made me laugh this morning. I feel so bad for her. Being a new student would be so hard. And to have a teacher treat you like this on top of that on your first day in a new school, I'm really into this book and I hope that you'll try it too. This is just one of the Lincoln Award books that we're recommending to students this year. Have a great day, Pack Readers.